Hey guys, it's Chun. Come to Taiwan with me in today's vlog. Here we are at Incheon Airport, and I just took these pictures because they were so funny. Please put kimchi into the check-in luggage. I mean, only in Korea, right? So here I am waiting for my plane. Incheon to Taipei is about a two, two and a half hour flight, and there is just a one hour time difference. So here is the cute video we saw on the plane. They had a Sanrio Happy Lunar New Year message, which I thought was really adorable. And then just for the short flights, I like to change my, my meals to the fruit platters because I love the fruit platter. I don't really want a heavy meal when I land. I got picked up by my dad and my stepmom and the first stop we went to was coffee because I was very, very tired. And this is from Kama Coffee, which is a famous chain in Korea. They're known to be very good, very affordable, and they have a lot of options, as you can see from this extensive menu. Next stop, we grabbed some mento, which are steamed Chinese buns. The brown ones are with brown sugar, and then the white ones are regular, and then there's a bunch of other flavors in there as well. I like to eat these for breakfast when I'm in Taiwan at home. I usually love to go here and I just wanted to shout this spot because it's so delicious, but they weren't open when I was there at that time, which was kind of sad. We went another day though. Um, and instead we went to this restaurant, which had a bunch of other things. I ate this and then went home and just rested. So next day. We started off strong by going to get my hair washed and deep conditioned. This is something you can do in Taiwan. You literally pay them between $10 to $30 and they'll just wash your hair, which is something I'm absolutely addicted to. And then I wanted to show you guys this. This is how a lot of smaller restaurants do their menus. So you're gonna need to download to Google Translate, but this is what I ordered. I was really in the mood for something called rural fan, which is a pork bellied, saucy rice bowl as you can see here we also got some vegetables and a soup on the side i've been really craving this and i was so happy that i finally got to eat it and i went with my stepmom because my dad had to go to work but it was still a, it was a light but lovely and well-balanced lunch i was very happy with it so I was actually born in Taiwan and my dad and my stepmom and a lot of my family still live there. So when I go to Taiwan, I kind of do more mundane things, I guess, rather than touristy things. But here I am. If you guys haven't figured it out already, I'm at Taiwan Costco because a lot of their snacks and things I love to buy and bring home. So here I am picking up my favorite dried guava. We don't gatekeep here. This is 10 out of 10, one of my favorite snacks to eat. And they have a bunch of other stuff that I can't bring back because it's all meat based, but you could eat while there. I just really like shopping Costco. Grocery shopping is one of my favorite activities. So I was having a great time. I picked out some fruit for the house. And yeah, it was just kind of a relaxing afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the final haul there was some stuff for me some stuff for my stepmom in the house obviously but i really tried to control myself because i knew that if i bought too much it wouldn't all fit into my luggage later so self-control was key Next, we headed over to a cafe because again, coffee. We actually were just waiting for my dad because we were gonna all head out to dinner. So we sat in this coffee shop and just kind of chatted and looked at some magazines, which was just nice to catch up. Here's my dad and my stepmom and me. And then afterwards, we went to a restaurant to eat some of my favorite things. Once again, it's all about eating today and the next day and the whole video, basically. But oh my god, those shrimp, those huge ones on the side, they were so good. And then also they had something called sambeiji, which is three baked chicken, which is also one of my favorite dishes from Taiwan. If you guys go to Taiwan, definitely go eat that sambeiji. I highly, highly recommend. Another day, another drive. One of the most popular modes of transportation in Taiwan is actually the moped or the scooter. So here's a family of three balancing on one scooter, which I thought was very impressive. I don't know if it's legal, but whatever. And so today we're heading to my stepmom's house. And I wanted to show you guys this because in every household in Taiwan, you're probably gonna find something like this. It's an altar or a shrine to be able to pay respects to past generations and the deceased XYZ. So I just thought something, you know, fun to share with you guys because it's not something we see a lot in Western houses. And then here's me again at the grocery store, my favorite place. <laughs> 
um, because there were a bunch of snacks and these are sauces uh, to mix with noodles so dry sauce noodles I guess it translates to but Taiwan has all these crazy sauces that you can mix in with rice or you can mix in with stir fry that are just nice to be able to pick up for later when I want to cook and here I am picking out a bunch more items in Taiwan currently you still have to wear masks while indoors so you're gonna find me wearing masks a lot uh, just you know walking around and about and then here's me piling on the snacks I literally guys I'm telling you now my suitcase was very very too full in fact that I was having trouble closing it when I left on this trip but it's all worth it because I brought everything home here I am getting again the dry noodles and then we head into the final haul I think I bought about 60 or 70 dollars worth of snacks and, and instant noodles but again very affordable totally worth it look how much I got for 60 70 dollars whatever it was um, and then it was a really beautiful sunny day in Taiwan this day so I was really excited and we headed off to eat because I was pretty hungry at this point we had to stop at dim sum I, it's a must-have while I'm here in Taiwan we also call it yum cha and then here are some of my absolute favorites the shrimp rice rolls are by and far my favorite dim sum dish but the other ones are also up there. We have ta sao bao, which are pork buns and turnip cakes. And this is the ta sao bao. I wish I had focused better, but it was still very good. And then here's me with my favorite shrimp rice rolls. These are chef's kiss. And then here we were just in the car and I just, it was just really funny. I just thought this was really cute. He had a little umbrella for his phone because obviously really important. And then we took a little walk to our next spot and it was just kind of nice to be able to walk outside and enjoy the kind of the fall weather and then if we hadn't eaten enough already i wanted to get my favorite tofu pudding dish this is a sweet dessert and then next we stopped for more coffee at this cute coffee shop owned by a family and they had a little cat that hung out in the coffee shop it was, it was also really funny because my stepmom is actually terrified of cats but i made her sit through this because i love them <laughs> We went home and rested a bit before coming out again to meet up with my dad for dinner. We decided to go for Shabu Shabu tonight. And I liked this restaurant because they came in little individual pots for everybody. So everyone had their own Shabu Shabu dishes. I tried to film more, but then I realized my camera lens was fogging. So that's all I got. And then this was a cute little light show that was playing on the way home. And that was the end of another day. Good morning. So I've been doing all these voiceovers. I thought I'd actually talk in a video where I'm somewhere that I can do that. I'm actually in a hotel right now with my mom in Taipei because she, I've been staying with my dad and then she's been staying with my aunt and then she wanted to get away for a couple days. So we got a hotel. Anyways, this is our hotel. This is the shoe area to take off your shoes. And then you walk in and it's the bathroom i love this bathroom there's so much light in here literally obsessed i wish i could have this in my house like so nice so this is the bathtub it's a little cube bathtub so we both ended up taking some baths last night which was nice and then the shower nice big shower head here and then the bath oh oh my god the toilet is one of those japanese toilets where you have all the bidet options and then it also keeps your seat really warm we're gonna walk into the bedroom this is the mirror so we have a full-length mirror which is really nice i actually really love i love the shape of this i wish i could have this in my house but i can't some shelves here of stuff my mom hung up all her clothes and then my clothes are at the bottom this is the mini bar we have an espresso machine and then all this stuff this is pineapple cake my dad and my stepmom bought for my mom the tv here and another little desk nook this is the outside view just overlooking i feel like the funny thing about buildings in taiwan is that outside they don't really look like much they look kind of old and dreary but then once you go inside they're super nice and modern and renovated so looks can be deceiving and then that's about it that's the tour my mom's trying to jaywalk. 
Oh my god, look what she's doing to me. <laughs> That's the famous Taipei 101 building. It used to be the tallest in the world and now it's second tallest in the world, I believe. But anyways, if you're in Taiwan, it's a must go to. And then here we are getting bubble tea from this place called Share Tea. I'd actually never been to this one before, but that's the fun thing about bubble tea is that because Taiwan invented bubble tea, there are literally boba shops everywhere and there's always new chains and new franchises and new stores opening up with all different flavors and, and combinations of things. So it's one of my, you know, small things that I like to do when I'm in Taiwan is walk around and try out all the new bubble tea shops. And then next we headed off to meet my dad and my stepmom. We went to go eat Beijing roast duck or Beijing kaoya. And it is also one of my requested main dishes when I go to Taiwan. Look at that. Look how beautifully he cut the, the roast duck. So you wrap it in the bun with the sauce and you eat it kind of like a little roll, a little roll or a wrap. It was, it was very good actually. I was very surprised. Um, and then my stepmom, I guess, got this duck bun and inside was a sweet sesame paste it was very cute to look at but i'm not really sure i loved how it tasted you can see by my expression here i was questioning whether i wanted to eat the rest of this or not i did not <laughs> After dinner, my mom and I headed over to one of the night markets, and Taiwan is famous for our night markets. There are a bunch you can go to, but there's usually just delicious food and cheap eats and just like cheap accessories and, and toys and things like that that you can buy. Here are some pet clothes that we were looking for my mom's cats. I voted for this lobster, but she didn't want it for some reason. I don't know. She... I, I still think it was the best outfit choice here. <laughs> and then, oh my god, these really, really bring me back. These are called tea dangal. It literally translates to Chinese egg cakes, but they're little hot cakes in these fun molds. If you see them in Taiwan, you must buy them. You will not regret it. They are so fluffy and delicious. And that's it for my Taiwan vlog. I hope you guys loved it. Here's me on my plane ride back to Incheon Airport. The plane was pretty much completely empty, which was nice for me because I enjoyed the whole road to myself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!